Maybe you feel like, you know, like, like, like you're not worthy. Like maybe you feel like the distance between 85,000 and a million a year is just too far. That ain't too fucking far. It's right there. See, I don't think we got a product problem in the world right now. I think we got people problem. I think people underestimate the amount of effort they got to put into something to be great. Swear to God, I've been at it for a minute. Climbing to the top and this music was my ticket. Found a way to grind, turn a passion to a business. No limit, I'm going to get it. Have so my deal is, is we're in this room right now, okay? And I'm actually going to start with you. Is that cool? Yes. Yeah, okay, because we got to start somewhere. Does that make sense? Yeah. I'm going to talk all industry today. Everybody say all industry. All industry. That means this, everybody's in a different industry in here today. Now, I'm going to explain to you something really special in this room. I don't care what you do. If you're good at sales, you can do any job. Okay, if you can sell solar, you can sell cars. If you can sell cars, you can sell real estate. If you can sell real estate, you can sell technology. You can sell anything. Why? Because it's all communication. Everything is about communicating. Does that make sense? Okay, so this is really important. I'm going to start. Watch, come here, grab you. Come up here real quick. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. Everybody give, give it up for him. I'm going to talk about a common objection, right? Now, everybody, everybody say scenario. scenario. I'm going to paint a scenario, and then I'm going to choose someone in any industry to handle that objection. I can close it. But we're going to talk about not can someone else close it, can you guys leave here closers? Everybody say common sense. Common sense. We're going to common sense close everything. We're going to need to understand there's two scenarios in which everybody's going to be in at all times. One is going to be a scenario in which we need to advance the sell forward. What does that mean? We're not ready to close. We're just going to continue moving past things that are, are, are in our way. Does that make sense? Okay, if you're knocking on a door and you're solar, you're going to get an objection. You can't close them right there. You got to keep moving through to get the appointment, to get into the door, to set the, the appointment at the kitchen table, and then close the deal there. Does that make sense? So when somebody says, I need to think about it at the door, that's a different objection than I need to think about it at the table after numbers are disclosed. Does that make sense? I'm going to hit him with two quick things that are, I need to think about it in the automotive industry. Okay? You ready? Okay. This is going to be simple. Okay? Now you got to speak into the mic. Okay? Me and him go on a test drive, 2018 Nissan Altima. We get off the test drive. We're sitting in front of the building. Ask me to buy the car. Hey, Andy, how would you like a new car title? Is it going to be just in your name or is it going to be someone else on the title with you? Yeah, hey, I really appreciate it. Um, I don't know yet, but I want to think about it. Hey, I completely understand it. I haven't given you enough information not to think about it. So what I'd like to do is bring you inside, give you a quick five-minute proposal, all the facts and figures, so when you go home tonight, you truly have something to think about. Would that be fair? That's it. That's it. <laughs> okay, watch. That's exactly... What I taught you to say. Now we're inside. What did they do? He advanced the cell forward. He said, of course you need to think about it, right? Like, don't argue with him. Agree with him. Guys, of course you need to think about it. I haven't given you enough information not to think about it. What I'd like to do is give you a quick five-minute proposal of all the numbers so when you go home, you truly got something to think about. Would that be fair? Boom. He stuck his hand out in my chest. What does that make me do? Reach out, grab his hand. Now I'm inside. I go through the double set of doors. Now I'm sitting down on the table. I'm going to buy a car. What did he do? Advance the cell forward. Now we're going to go inside to the kitchen table. We're going to go inside to the dealership. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. So we're sitting in the dealership. All the numbers are out. What does that mean? That means he's got a worksheet. He's got a write-up sheet. He's got, a, he's got the trade evaluation card. He's got a credit application. He just served me numbers. Price payment trade-ins. Does everybody get that? Okay, all the numbers are on the table now. All the numbers. Now that all the numbers are on the table, it's not like advancing the sell forward. It's closing the client. Does that make sense? Okay, let's do this one. So he shows me the numbers. I say, hey, man, I really appreciate it, David. Thanks for showing me all the numbers, but I need to think about it. Go. Hey, Andy, I appreciate that. I understand. I've been doing this a long time, and what I've learned is that when people say they need to think about it, it's usually one of two things. Now, it's usually it's either number one, the car, which I don't believe it's the car. You told me you love it. We went on a test drive. We had a great time. Number two I believe is what it would be, which would be something's wrong within the numbers of the deal. So what is it that's concerning you the most, Andy? Would it be the price, the payment, or the trade in value? Which one? Point to it. Yeah, buddy. Okay. All right. Now watch this. So what we're going to do is, you guys ready? I'm going to move quick with them. So we said, 
hey, I totally understand. I've been doing this for a long time. If somebody says anything about what I've learned, it's either one of two things. One, you're no longer interested in the vehicle. I don't think that's the fact because we wouldn't have made it this far if you didn't like the car, right? You, do, you love it. So it leads me to believe that something is concerning you within the numbers of the deal. What is it that's concerning you the most? The price, the payment, or the trade-in? Which one? What did he do? He just went past the stall of I need to think about it, and he took me back to the numbers where he could close me. Now, here's the good thing. He's coachable, clearly, because of what I just said, he already knows. Does that make sense? So where is it that he's messing up? It could be a lot of things. Today, that's his job to find it. Does that make sense? Yes. But guys, I'm going to tell you this. Give it up for him on the automotive side for doing a good job. Hey, see ya. Good job. Hey, guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments telling me that you need help. Do me a favor. I'm going to tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now, 918-210-0254, 918-210-0254. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. All right. Somebody else give me another, another industry in this room right now. What'd you say? Water treatment. Water treatment. Okay. 30 second scenario. Do you get I need to think about it? Uh, yeah, that or price. I'll, I'll oh, hold, stop. We're on I need to think about it. Okay. Do you get I need to think about it or no? Of course. Okay. Do you do? Yep. Where at? Uh, right at the end of the sale. When the numbers are out. Right at the end. Right at the end. Okay. Do you cold knock people? Here, talk into that. Yeah. Do you, we, uh, we do, all, yeah, cold knocking, we mailerless. Okay, give me a scenario. Um, Angie's List customer wants water treatment. Angie's List customer, somebody's looking up water treatment. Am I right? Correct, yeah. They find him, they reach out for an estimate. Is that correct? Yep, and then we do a free water test in the house. Yep. Okay, so they reach out for an, an estimate. They're like, hey, let's do a free water test treatment. We're going to come out. Basically, they're going to say they found a problem, and they're going to say that his water solution product is the, treat, is the solution. Does that make sense? Isn't that what we all fucking do? Yeah. Yeah. I don't need you to tell me. I know that's what he's going to do. He's going to come in. He's going to say, fuck. He's going to say, hey, we're going to come in. We're going to do this shit for free. If we don't find anything, we're going to walk out of here, and you don't need anything. But if I do find something, do I have permission to tell you about it? If I find something that's harmful or dangerous for your family, could I share it with you? Oh, yeah. He's going to be like, we found something. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, tell me about it. And then he's going to tell me about it. Am I right? Yep. Okay. 30 seconds. Stand up. Everybody listen, this is how we train, okay? By the way, for anybody in this room, okay, this is how you train your people. This is the only way you train your people. This is the way you train yourself if you don't have any people, okay? So 30-second so conversation, right? You found a problem, okay? Give me that 30-second problem. Uh, what, Microphone. Oh, okay. So what, what I found? Yeah, 30 seconds, so. Andy, so obviously, you know, after we did the water test, uh, we did find issues with nitrates and these are harmful to your family. Obviously, you're a fit guy. Look at you. Um, I know you love your family, your wife, your kids, and you want to protect them. Is that right? Yeah. Absolutely. So what I'm going to do for you, I'm going to show you the solution to protect your family for life, and, you know, we're going to be partners for the entire time, and I'm going to take care of you. How's that sound? Sounds good. What's the cost? That's perfect. So here's the thing. Um, based off what the cost that I showed you, the price would be seventy nine eighty. It's going to cost about $99 a month. Okay. Uh, which obviously, based off the numbers I just showed you, um, you just spend about five dollars out of pocket a month. You just spend on a hot dog at Wendy's. Okay, cool. Hey, I really appreciate you getting me all the information. Everybody, listen. I really appreciate you getting me all the, all the information. I appreciate you guys coming out, but I need to think about it. I'm going to get back with you. Go. Absolutely, I appreciate that. So let me ask you a quick question. Um, obviously, you brought me out here because you had some issues. You're interested in you know my product, um, and what I have found is. If I can give you the best product at the best price and you trust me to take care of your family for life, you want to go through with me, right? A lot of times, you want to make sure you're making the right decision and that you're getting the best price. Does that sound correct to you? Sure. Sure, great. So let me do this to you, Andy. I still believe in doing you know, business old-fashioned way. You're just shaking my hand and I don't need all your trust right away. I just do 1%, I'll earn the other 99. So let me do this for you, Andy. I'm going to allow you to get my product today. And what I'm going to allow you to do is if you can go out, talk to any other client, if you can find you a better product with a better warranty with a better price, and you think they can do a better job for you, I will price match you or I'll take the system out of your house. Here's the thing, Andy. I know that won't happen, so why don't we get you started today, and then we'll go ahead and take care of you. Okay. So, number one, I would never bring up another competitor. Listen, Mr. and Mrs. Customer, I'm so glad you want to think about it, but the fact is you already thought about it before you reached out. You wouldn't have reached out about water treatment if you wouldn't have wanted water treatment. Would you agree? Am I correct? Because remember, you reached out to me on where? Angie's List. Angie's List know that our company has been allocated to this area because we have the best warranties, we're the best on price, and we service our customers the best, which is important when you're spending the money. Would you agree? Yes or no? How many kids do you have? Mm -hmm. 
Okay? Most of these people, they have houses, they got families. How many people are in this household? Uh, four. Four. What are their names? Uh, John, Julia, and... John, write it down. Go ahead. Julia, Julia write it down. Go ahead. Sarah. Sarah, write it down. And? Nicole. Nicole. If you had to write a check for what these four people's safety was worth, you probably couldn't write the check, could you? But if you could, it'd probably have to be at least $99. Would you agree? Yeah. Guys, listen to me. You wouldn't have made the call if you weren't willing to make a decision. Close that motherfucker. It's easy. That's it. You guys get it? Did I bring up my competitor? You know what I see? I see you guys selling from weakness. You guys want to talk about what other people do? Why the, I didn't say I want to go shop you. I didn't say I want to go look at other people. I didn't say your price was too high. I didn't say your warranty was good, wasn't good enough. You need to decide what is going to be the angle that you're going to use when someone says no. Okay? Remember, what did I do? Okay? Number one, what does your product do? Yes, water tastes better. Number two, I'm glad you complimented and said I'm fit, but it isn't going to make me spend money. No, no, no. I like that. That's not the close, though. Okay? The close is we found a problem. Okay? Nitric oxide or some shit. What have you said? <laughs> is that what you said? Nitrate. Nitrate. Nitrates? Nitrates. Okay. Sir, do me a favor. Google nitrates right now. Google it. Google it. And tell me the definition of it. Okay, you ready? Somebody's probably quicker than him, but watch. Let's see if he can get it. It's on the Wi Fi too, right? Yeah. It's okay. What does it say? All right. Nitrate is a polyatomic ion with a chemical formula NO salt containing the ion that's called nitrate. Nitrate is a common component of fertilizers and explosives. Almost all inorganic nitrates are soluble in water. An example of an insoluble nitrate is bismuth oxynitrate. Okay. Sounds awful for your children to be drinking. <laughs> Absolutely it is. Should we hold off or go ahead and change the water system out now? You guys get it? Hey, everybody say common sense. Common sense. Okay, does that make sense? Absolutely. Yeah, if you want your kids drinking fertilizer? If you came outside and your kids had fertilizer in their mouth, what would you do, trip out? Well, they're putting their mouth all day here and you're cooking food with it, okay? If we were to fix the problem, would it be now or we continue to wait on it and see if their safety, uh, you know, or if their, if their health continues? No, okay? Things like, you know what I love about 2023 is technology has changed, products have gotten better, but the problem salespeople have, haven't gotten better, okay? All we are is a master communicator. What did I do? I made it easy for you to say yes to, right? Yep. I made it hard to say no to, and I made it your idea. I made him Google. I made him Google it. I, I just want you to know what it is. I don't want to tell you. I already know. I want you to know. And I don't want to tell you what the dictionary says. I want you to read it yourself because that's what's in your water. That's what this says. We spend millions of dollars on this tool to go through and test your water. And by the way, if your house didn't have it, Guess what? I wouldn't, I wouldn't want you to pay $99. I would leave because I have nothing to offer you. But I have everything to offer you and the four people that live in this house. Okay? Plus, it increases your resale value on your house one day if you ever want to sell it because of the fact that it's in here. Okay? So not only need to healthy, but it increases your property value. I can just keep going on. Okay. We're going to go to two more businesses. Is that cool? Okay? Another business. Who gets I need to think about it? Somebody tell me. No. But hold on. Watch. Okay, are you ready? What do you do? Come here. All right, guys, listen up. Hold on. I'm going to move fast. I want everybody to understand. I could choose automotive, and all day we're going to train. I can pick any industry, and I can run. Dot, 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 dot. I'm trying to explain to you guys it's all the same. Does everybody get it? Everybody say it's all the same. Once you realize all, some of you guys are sitting here, and you're like, oh, fuck, I thought I was going to get, you know, uh, roofing objections. Listen, dumbass. It's all the same. It's all the same. You can change 15% of the words. You can change 85% of it. It's all the same. Okay? It's the way you communicate. It's the way you articulate your words. It's the way you get it across. All right. Number one, tell us what you do really quick. Tell them what you do. So 30 seconds. We have an online fitness program that helps people transform in four months from average to movie star shape. And you can do it while eating the foods you love and you only work out three days a week. Okay. So somebody calls in. You reach out to people. You're knocking on people's doors. How do you get a hold of a client? We have online ads that run. They fill up an application. Then they book a call with their team. Okay, cool. Call comes in. 30-second conversation. 
They ask some questions. What do they tell them? Hey, here's what we're going to do for you. This is what it costs. Go. The pitch. Mm -hmm. Okay. Three things that's going to help you transform. These are the three things that you don't have right now based on everything. So I'll go through discovery. Yeah, 30 seconds. Let's go. Number one, there's never a physical transformation without a mental transformation. We're going to transform your mindset. You're going to make more money. You're going to be a better father. It's going to take your physique to the next level. Number two, you don't have a community. You are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. If we look at the five people you're spending the most time with, are they in movie star shape, yes or no? No. Okay, and that's the biggest problem you have right now. Number three, we need a customized game plan to take you from your specific body type to the body type you just told me you want to go to. It's $3,800, it's four months, you ready to get started. Cool, hey, I really appreciate it. Thanks for giving me all the information, but I need to think about it, go. Totally understand that you say you need to think about it. And usually when I get to this point, if someone says they need to think about it, it's usually one of two things. Number one, I went too fast over some of the information, and there's something that we glazed over because thought is instantaneous. I want you to think about your wife. It comes to mind. What she needs, you need information to be able to make an educated buying decision so you can make sure you're making the right decision, right? Yeah, well, this is just all new information. I, you, I filled out some information. You told me it was 3800 I know what you do now. You're telling me this is what I'm going to get, and I just need to think about it. So you're telling me you need to think about getting into better shape? Yes. Well, I, so you have to make a decision. And that's the main reason you have to transform. Because people who get in shape, they make a decision. Okay. But I still need to think about it. So how are you going to get me to go from thinking to taking action? You guys get it? Yeah. Hold on. Now listen to me. This is why we train. Okay? Okay, here's the deal. Do you guys want to be a machine gun sprayer or you want to be a sniper? Snipers use one bullet. They can hit you dead between the eyes. Machine gun sprayers throw out tons of word, words. A lot of the times, they, they throw out words that actually prevent the cell from even moving forward because they say sh accidentally they shouldn't have said. Okay? Because they're amateurs. Everybody say amateur. amateur. It's amateur hour in the world everywhere. Imagine this. $3,800 for four months. It's a lot of money, isn't it? Or is it? Let me ask you a question. If you went into the doctor today, and I totally understand, when I hear you say you need to think about it, what I hear you say is that either really it's too expensive and it's more than you planned on spending or you just need to think about like committing to actually doing this, right? Which one would it be? Would it be the money or would it be the commitment part? See, I need more information. You guys agree? I'm not fucking Nostradamus. He says, no, it's not the money. I knew it was going to cost a lot of money. You're right. I like the four months, but I just need to decide to make a commitment. I've signed up with things like this before and I didn't follow through. So when I tell my wife I bought it, she's just going to be pissed at me because she knows I'm probably not going to use it. Now he told me. Would you agree some people are going to say that? And then a lot of people are like, fuck, dude, I just saw an ad come across. It was super cool. There wasn't a price. I thought it was going to be like a gym pass. I go to 10 gym. And you're talking 3,800. And I'm like, oh, shit. Does that make sense? Okay. So you're going to ask them a simple question. If they say, hey, it's too much money, you're going to say, let me ask you a question. How old are you? Go ahead. How old are you? Yeah, but how old are you? Oh, 22. Okay. How old is your average client that actually enrolls in this program? 35, 35, 45. 35, 45. Let me ask you a question. Have you ever been an athlete in your life and been, been in great shape before, or is this going to be your first time? Is that a good question? It's a great question. Because if they say, well, no, I used to be in great shape. How did you feel back then? Everybody, we're going to use the how did that feel? How did that feel back then? How did it feel when you could put any clothes you want on? How did it feel when you went out and you knew that you were an athlete and everybody else knew it too? How did you feel about you? I bet anything that you ask anybody to give you because you're in shape, then you're disciplined, you probably knew they were going to fall through, and you could get it. Did you know getting in great shape also allows you to bring the good shit in life, the energy, love, passion to your family, life? It increases your sex drive to the roof. It increases your wife wanting to have sex with you. It's the truth. Your kids, okay, they look up to you as their hero and more light. And, mo and most importantly, you look in the mirror and you like who you see. You already made a decision when you clicked on the ad that you were committed, not interested. People that are interested in getting in shape don't fill their information out. People who are committed are. You've already made the commitment, and you knew it was going to cost money for real results. Now, I'm going to ask you a question. Do you want to pay cheap money for results you'll never get, or do you want to actually spend the dough and get the results that you've never been able to get your entire life and the ones that if you had right now, it would change everything? How would it feel, and I go back in now, how would it feel if you got right now, went and looked in the mirror, and you had a six-pack? How would it feel to see that when you walked in after work, 
When you said, honey, I'm home, your wife was like, oh, my God, I get to see my husband. And she was like that again. And your kids were at school talking about dad at recess, saying, oh, my dad's got a six-pack. How would that feel? See, I'm going to strike every chord of the heart. And by the way, listen to me. I'm not talking about these cheesy-ass corny deals. Everybody say common sense. Common sense. Common sense. You feel me? Okay? And then I'm going to ask him this. How long have you been trying to fix this problem? Am I the first person that you've reached out to? Or is this something you've been wanting to do for a long time, but you've almost given up on it because you didn't think it was possible? 99% of the clients that we do business with are people that didn't believe that they could have the body that we could give them. And what we've learned in research shows, my favorite line, research shows, research shows shows that within 120 days, you're going to look in the mirror and we're literally going to have to send your ass a new birth certificate because you're going to be a new person. We're going to have to rename you. Now I'm going to ask you a question. Is that what you want? It's a simple yes or no. And if you don't, look, we'll move on to the next person that's committed. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments telling me that you need help. Do me a favor. I'm going to tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now, 918-210-0254, 918-210-0254. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. Okay. All, you're, all, all you are is a decision away from a brand new life, a brand new body, and a brand new identity. You wouldn't have made the call. You wouldn't have filled out the information. We wouldn't have been on the phone this long if you weren't ready to do it. As long as you had somebody with you who wanted to go with you along the way on the journey. Listen, I'm going to tell you the truth. No one, because I love you. Love, don't lie. Remember that? No one wants to go with you on this fitness journey except us. So in a world full of 8 billion people where no one else cares, we're actually known to outcare, to overcare, and to care more than we should. And that's worth spending your money on. So if I can guarantee and ensure the results, okay, and we only had to do this one time for the rest of your life, would it be worth it if I was right? Yes or no? What card do you want to put it on? That's it. It's that simple. Right? You guys feel me? Now, by the way, I want to ask you a question. Did I get triggered? Okay. Did I like strike? See, a lot of you guys know me as this. Hey guys, what's up? It's Andy Elliott in this video, right? You guys know that guy, right? That's, that's my intensity when I'm, when I'm like teaching. When I'm selling, sell like a lion, act like a lamb, okay? This fucking lion, you can't see it, okay? The lion never gets seen, only the lamb. When I talk to people, if I want you to calm down, I will calm you down. If I want you to think about what I'm saying and demand your attention, I'll slow down with my words. I'll be very precise, and I'll I'll articulate them to a point to where every word is dangerous. Does that make sense? Slow down. You guys want to close more deals? When people start saying stuff, instead of speeding up, moving fast, slow down. Slow down. Make their ears work. You hear me? Pull them into you. And by the way, people don't care about how much you know until they know how much you care. Okay? You got to remember this. Do you know why I do this? Everybody, this is, a, this is a big one. Okay? So I'm on the call, and obviously I'm noticing they may be interested. Well, obviously they're interested, but they may be like, you know, swerving a little bit, uncommitted. I can say, hey, can I ask you a question? Do you, do you know why I do this? Because I haven't told you that. But I think it's important, and I haven't really told anybody before, but I, I want to tell you why. My father, okay? Everybody say, paint pictures, tell stories. I'm not telling you to be a liar. I'm trying to tell you how to paint a picture and tell a story. We need to third party close them. Ready? My father, okay, is a skeptic. He's never been in shape. And his whole life, he's believed that it was impossible for him to be in shape. But the company that I work for today reached out and called my dad. Because my dad had the courage one day to fill out some information on the internet. Because he knew that he needed to bring a new man to his family and himself. When my dad filled out that information, I remember my dad on the phone and I watched him with the same company that I work for now explaining to my dad how this works. And my dad tried to poke holes in everything they were saying. My dad's a skeptic. I remember the guy at the end of the call, he said, sir, you have the courage to fill out the information. I'm gonna let you borrow the rest of the courage to make the decision. You know you wanna do it for your family. You know you wanna do it for yourself. 
you're going to blow the money in other places and you're never going to get the life you want. If this does work, it will truly change your life. There's no other way that $3,800 could change your, way, your life in any way, shape, or form except for right now. If what I'm saying is right and you get what you want, would it be worth it, yes or no? Facts. My father said yes. The guy let him borrow the courage to say yes. My dad didn't have the money. He put it on a credit card. 90 days later, 120 days later, my, wife, my, my mother had a new man. This was my father. My dad was different to us, and my dad went on to become this whole new man his whole life. He's still healthy and alive today. And I'll bet had he had not done it, he wouldn't have been alive. I believed in it so much and watched what it did for my father, I decided to go work for this company. So as I tell you about this, it's because I'm not talking with my mouth or with education. I'm talking to you from my heart that it saved my dad's life. And I saw what it did for him, and they've only gotten better since then. So I know what it's going to do for you. So if you could have the same results as my father or better, would it be worth it, yes or no? You guys see it? Paint pictures, tell stories, third-party closing. What did I do? Sometimes when I'm direct selling to you, you're tired of hearing me. So I'm going to tell you about this person. Does that make sense? You can relate more with this person than the sale coming from me. Do you guys get that? Did anybody just learn anything? Okay, do you guys see that? Okay, why are we in a master closer seminar? You know why? Because you guys must be closed on you. You must be closed on you. Most of you in this room can't close anything because you're not closed on you. You can't close anyone unless your confidence is through the roof and you're closed on you. I have a delusional belief that everybody I come in contact, on the phone, in person, anywhere, I'm going to close. It doesn't matter. Should you all have that? How many of you don't have it? How many of you in here, and you're like, and, I, and you won't raise your hand because you're not the kind of person to raise your hand because you don't want to be exposed. I'm telling you, this is the room to expose your holes. That's what winners do. Winners say, hey, I have a hole and I'm going to fix it. Can I ask you a question? If you've got a hole and you had a business and your business, you had a hole, would you want to fix it before your competition found out you had a hole and put you out of business? That's why you're in this room. Two rules. Remember, don't ever let nobody else know your business better than you. Okay. Number two, try to figure out how to kick your own ass every single day. Now, here's what I do. I take businesses and salespeople. I take anybody that's in the entrepreneur game. And what I do, I don't care what industry you're in. Okay. I love automotive. We've grown, automotive's easy. It's so easy, man. Maybe you feel like, you know, like, like, like you're not worthy, right? Like maybe you feel like the distance between 85,000 and a million a year is just too far. You guys get it? That ain't too fucking far. It's right there. What is it? It's being sold on you. You guys could all get up here and close anybody. You got to practice with your mouth because you speak for a living. You're all public speakers. If I could teach you guys all one thing that would paradigm shift, paradigm shift your entire life, it'd be to teach you to speak. When you speak to one person or 10,000, you must speak to them. If you're talking to your wife and you want her to fall more in love with you, you speak to her like there's 10,000 people. You speak to her like she's the most important person in the room, like she's the center of your universe. You know the problem? The coaches are on the phone, and it's just another fucking phone call, okay? No, dude, that person is the center of your universe. That person was praying and hoping that there was someone that could bring a solution, a real one, to their problem. Your water, your water stuff, it's real. It's real shit. But is the person who's selling it real? See, I don't think we got a product problem in the world right now. I think we got a people fucking problem. I think people underestimate the amount of effort they got to put into something to be great. That's what I think. I think we got a people problem. Okay? Hey, guys, I just want to tell you, you're the true one percenters. You made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor. Share it with the friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video. Comment below so I know who you are. Set your notifications and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.